Chris here with Hooks and Hammocks. Back out again this morning. Today we're at Camp Atterbury. We'll call this Driftwood, Driftwood area. There's, I think it's Plover Pit, something like that. But we've always called it Driftwood, so today it's Driftwood. It's a pretty big lake. It's almost separated into two. Today we're just gonna fish this part right next to the main boat ramp. We're gonna be suspend fishing today, just like always. We have some skipjack and some very small shad. That's all I could get. So we're going to have to make do. But I'm going to try to drift all the way around, or as much as I can, time permitting, around this lake, staying fairly close to the shoreline, 10 feet of water or better. But uh, it's very cold this morning, it's like 45 degrees got these very tiny little shad here. I'm just going to put about four of these on. It's still a little frozen. I'm going to do four of them. Hopefully they'll stay on there. They're a little mushy. They weren't frozen very well. There's a lot of water in there with them. They're very mushy. But we're just going to drop four of them on there like that. Try not to get my sleeves wet. Get this one dropped down. We're in about 11 feet right now. There's that one. Don't have much wind. What little bit of wind there is is pushing us up against this bank, so I'm going to have to use my paddle to keep us going where I want to go. It's no big deal. We don't want to be moving very fast. Just around that 0 .3, 0 .4 mile an hour that I like. Just a piece of skipjack body section. This also mushy. They didn't freeze it very well. Not a huge fan of this lake, mostly because the dills don't do very good here. And when we do catch fish, they're usually pretty small, usually get plagued with turtles. Not so much with the drift fishing part, but uh, just don't have a lot of confidence in this lake. But it's close to home. We're expecting a very important exciting call today which would be that our new kayaks are here they're supposed to be here today so I wanted to stay close to home in case we get that call early but, but we're fishing now I'm just going to try to stay in at least 10 feet of water just off this bank There's a lot of hang-ups when you get up closer so I'm staying out a little bit long a little bit farther than uh, maybe I'd like to but this whole lake out here I don't know how much of it you guys can see but over the course of the day you may see more it's just a big flat I mean the banks drop off pretty quickly into at least 10 feet it drops down into about 19 to 25 feet is the average uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything deeper than 25 here but it's mostly 19 out through here but it's just a big flat I haven't had a lot of luck fishing those flats so we're trying to get this transition area from the bank into the flat and we're just going to try to follow that all the way around as, as far as we can go for what time allows but if there's any action you'll see it all right we've been out this about 45 minutes i went from the boat ramp which is way over there all the way around this side of the bank and about halfway across the dam we ain't even got a bite so i'm gonna go out across this flat See if maybe there's some laying out there in some deeper water. But like I said, it's, it's pretty cold this morning. It's 45 degrees. Water temps down to 71. Uh, a week or so ago when I was here, it was 85. So I don't know if that's pushed them a little deeper. 
or if this lake just sucks, which I think this lake sucks. But we're here. We're going to make the best of it. See what happens. Okay, we got one going over here. He's going to take it. He's got it. And he let it go. That was on the shad. Took two of them from us. So we're going to have to rebate. I can see him on the depth finder here. There's something down there. Decent size. Throw a couple more of these shad on. Here we go, right over here again on the shad. how they're not hooking up. We got whatever it is this time. And it came off. Right as I got it to the surface. Didn't even see it. Came on. What's the definition of insanity? Keep doing the same thing over and over again, expect a different result. Well, here we go. Four small shad. Oh, looky here. On our skipjack. channel he's done acting a fool he's got a bad eye Stop it. He was kind enough to leave our bait. Well, it's in the boat anyway. There he is, little thing. I don't know if you can see that eyeball or not. It's pretty nasty. Well, send him back. The bait's still pretty pink. We're going to drop it back down again. We're looking for something a little bigger than that. Actually, a lot bigger than that. Let's get that back down there. Whatever it is wants it, swimming around with it. It's not hooking up. I think he's hooked up now. Oh, this is a little better fish, I think. 
feels a little heavier. Pulling much harder. We may get our first video with more than one fish in it. Oh yeah, this is a much better channel. Much better. Yeah, now we're wet. Much better channel cat. We're gonna let him wear himself out a little. And I may use the net on this one. I haven't got to use this net yet. this one too. Oh, look, we got a double going. <laughs> oh. Alright, that one's hooked up. Let's try to get this one in. We don't lose that hole. Oh, our hook came out too. All right, there's that. Now let's reel this one in. See what we got on. Tiny, very tiny. shad in his mouth. Stop it. All right, there's that one. Get the scale on this one just to see. Stop it. All right. Staying right at six pounds, I don't think this scale works very well because I know that's more than six pounds. But it is what it is. There it is. Damn sun's behind me. Let's turn around so you guys can see it better. Alright. Got that sun in front of us now. Hold this up so you guys can see it. There he is right there. Not too bad. Let's get him back in the water. Been out long enough. There he goes. All right, we're going to call it quits for the day. I'm going to get back over here to the boat ramp, get home, and wait for this outfitter to call. Get our new kayaks today. Be better. Long story on that. When we get the new kayaks, I'll do a review on them, and I'll tell you everything about it. But for right now, we caught a few fish today. It was a lot of fun. It's pretty cold this morning, but it's starting to warm up a little bit now. It's pretty comfortable. At least my hands aren't freezing holding this kayak paddle like it was earlier this morning. But anyway, uh, just to recap, we were at Atterbury, Camp Atterbury. Some uh, 
partly state, partly military. Uh, several lakes here. And like I said in the beginning of this video, this lake sucks. And even though we caught a few fish here today, I still have the same feeling. But we did have a lot of fun here today. It was better than most trips that we have when we come over here. But this is a really great lake to just come out and enjoy the water and be in the kayaks and relax. And, you know, if you catch fish, that's just a bonus. But uh, we're going to call it quits, head back home, get back over here to this boat ramp, get everything loaded back up, head home. Uh, hopefully we'll get that call this morning rather than later this afternoon so we can go get those new kayaks and we can do a review on those. Looking forward to getting those and doing that review so you guys can see what we're getting. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. We'll see you next time.